What is up awesome people and welcome back to my Pokemon trading card game card opening series. Alright, so in the last two episodes we opened up the Chestnut EX10 from the Kalos Legends series, which or the Chestnut 10 which contained our Chestnut EX card, and in the last episode we opened up the Delphox 10 which contained our Delphox EX card. And within the 10s we got 4 booster packs plus a code to redeem the EX cards for the online series. Um, the two, 4 booster packs contained Flash Fire, XY, um, Plasma Blast and Plasma Freeze. And of course our two lovely EX cards were also featured. These are promo cards, keep in mind, so when these cards are actually released I think they can retain the same moves but a different artwork. So, no doubt these will be released a little bit later on in the expansion, so that'd be really cool to see. Alright, so we're now moving on to our final tin, which is my least favourite starter for the 6th generation. Greninja, so this is going to be really interesting. So, so far I've said that the EX cards aren't as good as their normal counterparts from the X and Y expansion series, for those who remember those cards. I have actually used Chestnut and Delphox normally in my decks. So Greninja I'm kind of worried about because Greninja sucked balls as far as a card in my honest opinion because Water Shuriken just did bugger roll damage. But I do remember Greninja I think being quite decent in the other little collection which we won't talk about. Alright, so let's check out this tin. There he is, Greninja using Water Shuriken. I will admit Water Shuriken is, does look really pr pretty cool, but I just hate the Pokemon. I honestly do. I hate Green Ninja with a freaking passion. Regardless, we got Chestnut there, Del Fox again, and of course, um, Green Ninja is there again. Uh, double feature of Green Ninja, so fun. Alright. So, let's have a look at this Green Ninja card. So, Green Ninja EX, it's a water card, 170 health. It's got the first move is sharp shooting requires one water energy card um, this attack does 30 damage to one of your opponent's Pokemon do, uh, don't apply weakness and resistance for bench Pokemon and its other move is holy freaking crap is aqua blast 120 damage requires two water energy cards and one energy card of any type this guy one water energy card um, water energy attached to this Pokemon damn not as good as um, Delphox or even Chestnut um, there's no way of preventing water energy cards from being removed from Greninja, so um, it does have a really good um, sharp shooting move there, which does fix damage regardless of where the Pokemon is. Although that's freaking Aqua Blast. If you've got a way of bringing back energy cards, water energy cards be as well, that would be good. But as I said, Chestnut can use, use Protection Cube, get rid of that recall damage. And as for Wonder Flare, um, if there was a way of getting energy cards into your opponent's hands, that would work really well. But poor Greninja kind of doesn't have any support there at all. So yeah, I'm kind of glad Greninja isn't as good as I thought it would be. But if you can get around that whole removing, discarding water energy cards, I think Sacred Ash might be able to work with that. But um, regardless, there isn't really much you can really do to stop that. But yeah, so far I think out of all those three, Chestnut is my favourite because of the support from Protection Cube. Alright, so as usual we're going to get our code to be able to redeem it online, which <laughs> I'm going to have a digital Grand Ninja. Yay! So I'm going to put that in my pile. And as always we're going to get our four boost packs as well. Alright. So if I'm sounding a bit stiffly or anything like that, I'm getting a cold because it's winter in Australia. I love having colds, I'm so prone to them because I work with public people as well. Ah, these tins, I can't close them. There we go. Alright, so again we've got the Plasma Blast and Plasma Freeze booster packs. And of course the XY and the Flash, uh, flash Fire cards. Alright, so I'm going to put Plasma Freeze first. Alright. Okay, so first card is Trico. We then have Pachirisu. We have Litwick. We have Dino. We have Horsey. We have Rock Guard. Damn! 
I love myself my rock guard. I was gonna say, look, something looks a bit different about it, but it's not different. But damn, that looks really cool. It's been a while since I've actually looked at a rock guard card. Um, actually looks a little bit different than to my rock guard. I'm gonna compare this with the one I've got in my dark deck, because I swear to god there's something different about that card. It looks freaking awesome though, regardless. We have Reshi Ram, which is a hollow card. If you can probably tell there, I don't think you can, but it's got little sparkles in the picture. We've got a Team Plasma Ball, which is just OP. We got Lampant, and we got Star Arabia as our last card there. So I love me that um, aspect card. Looks so cool, but I swear I'm gonna have to compare it with the other aspect card that I've got because it looks different. I don't know why it just does. Alright, I can go there. Alright, next is Plasma Blast. Alright, so we're gonna begin with a bag on. We got Squirtle, we got Tediosa, we got Aaron, we got Houndua, we got Reversal Iris. Oh wow, look at that, a full art. I definitely wasn't expecting a full art. So we got a full art Dialga EX. Damn, that looks cool. Uh, there's just nothing like holding an actual full art in your hand. You don't get the same experience of opening these online as you do when you're opening them in real life. This looks so cool. And plus, full arts have that really nice texture as well. It's just, I can't describe it. It's just so cool. And Diago looks freaking awesome there. Alright, next up is Ursaring. We've got Tropius. We've got Silver Bangle, which is just OP, especially on a Troopish deck. And that's all for that one. So yeah, as I said, definitely was not expecting an EX card there, especially a full art. So that was awesome. That's definitely going in either like a something to protect. I might put it in a top loader actually because um, these bend quite easily and it's annoying. I'm lucky enough to have a top loader near me. Alright. One second. I think I put it in right. There we are, it's now in a top loader, so that's what the top loaders look like. And if you want to keep your cards in mint or near mint condition, that's what you got to do. So yeah, Dialga all minted for you. Ha! Um, I'm going to have to find a better place to put this. But this is what I usually do with all my cards if I get anything like that. And I don't have a folder for it. I don't have a folder for the Plasma collection as of yet. So that's something for later on down the track. So yeah, that's where Diago's going to live for now. Poor the is captured in a little top loader. Alright, so we're going to move on to the um, XY expansion. And we're going to finish it off with Flash Fire. Okay, take out the code. Alright, next up for the um, XY, we've got Pansage, we've got Slugma, we've got Inkay, we've got Metal Energy, we've got Phantom, we've got Great Ball Reverse Hollow, we have Arbok as the rare. Fairy Garden, Team Flare Grunt, Willipede, and that's the last card. Alright, last boost pack, which is Flash Fire. Alright, so to begin with, we've got Litleo, we've got Gumi, we've got Espa, we've got Binnacle, ooh. We got Spiel, Reverse Hollow Binnacle. We got Malatic, which is hollow as well. Ah. We got Ultra Ball. We got Quicker Rock. We got Blacksmith again, and that's our last card. All right. So unfortunately, I did not see either one of the Reverse Hollows that I needed for Flash Fire. Unfortunately, so that kind of sucks. So I'm gonna probably open up a few more boost packs just to be able to get those boost, uh, just those two cards. Alrighty, so that's it for the Chaos Legends Tin Collection. So, hope you guys enjoyed it. And just as a bit of a refresher, there is the EX cards that you get from the tins. Definitely worth picking up since these are promo cards. This is the only way of getting these three as EX cards as for now until they're released in, in an actual expansion, which probably isn't too far off the bat, in my honest opinion. 
Um, so yeah, the next time we'll probably meet up for one of these is whenever my stuff arrives online uh, from wherever they're coming from. I did order a few things online um, since really our next meeting is next month for I think Furious Fish I think is the next one we're meeting up with. Maybe not. I think that's in August. I think, I think, I think. I've actually got to double check what we're meeting up for actually in um, July. I think it's actually um, either a leak box or another gift box, I think it is. I cannot remember what's coming out in July, but I know Furious Fist, I think, is in August. Uh, it's on pre-order for me. Um, I think I've got two or three booster box coming in for that one. I've got the theme decks coming in for that one. Um, and we've got a lot of flash fire stuff coming in as well next month. I think we've got, as I said, I think there's like a little tin box coming out for that one, so that's coming in. There's a few other stuff coming in as well, and as I said, I cannot remember, I'm blanking like hell on it at the moment, but there will be a video covering all that stuff coming up on my channel as well. I've got to do a big um, training card game update in regards to Furious Fist, in regards to the recently announced deck as well, um, which is being released in Japan in September. So I'll be covering that as well, going through details on that. That does feature Mega Ganga, it features Aggie Slash, and it apparently features Dialga, which is going to be interesting. Um, uh, there's something else I was going to mention, and I can't remember what it was. Yeah, um, but yeah, I think some of the things we'll be covering before all that though is the Slivion gift box, which came out I think the same time as the X and Y trainer kit. There is also the I'm pretty sure I ordered the Kalos starter box, a uh, starter thing decks as well, which came out uh, probably just a little bit before the X and Y expansion came out. So that features Chestnut, Finnegan, and Froki theme decks. Um, they are a collection by themselves as well as those three theme decks, so they're coming in for me. And I have the theme decks as well from the X and Y collection since I haven't covered them. So they're coming in as well as the tins. I am 100% sure that I ordered them as well. So I'm pretty sure that's all we're going to be covering until the next time we meet up. Which, as I said, I can't remember what we're going to be covering for them. Um, so yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed this, and until the next card opening episode or my next episode, this is Lady Crimson saying ciao for now, but not forever. Oh, and before I end, I just remembered what I was going to say. These will be going up as well, digitally as well, so we're doing card openings for that as well. And I'm going to be trying to complete the Flash Fire collection on the online version as well. There we go, that's all I had to say. Um, ciao for now, but not forever. Ciao!